Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of the St. Joseph series. Today is the first Wednesday of the month devoted to St. Joseph. And uh, we know that St. Joseph is a man of few words. In fact, uh, St. Paul, Pope Paul the VI wrote this. The Gospel does not record a single word from him. Okay, His language is silence. So I'm reading this from uh, the book... Uh, Consecration to St. Joseph by Father Don Calloway. He wrote, St. Joseph's silence and humility are the foundation of his greatness. Of all the men God could have chosen to be the earthly father of Jesus Christ, God selected St. Joseph, the most silent of all men. St. Peter Julian Amer wrote, St. Joseph, although the greatest of saints, is the humblest and most hidden of all. Maybe we ask ourselves, why the silence okay, uh, of St. Joseph? Uh, the reason behind that is what Father Don Calloway wrote. St. Joseph never wanted to be in the forefront of the drama of salvation. He preferred to, be, to remain hidden. His desire is for all the attention to be given to Jesus and Mary. The silence and humility of St. Joseph are one of a kind, revealing his power, greatness, and influence with God. Okay. So there's a difference between the response with the revelation of Jesus to the apostles and also the revelation of Jesus uh, to St. Joseph. Okay. In the 17th century, there's this Bishop Jacques Benin Bousset of France. Uh, he wrote this, Jesus was revealed to the apostles that they might announce him throughout the world. He was revealed to St. Joseph, who was to remain silent and keep him hidden. The apostles are lights to make the world see Jesus. Joseph is a veil to cover him, and under the mysterious veil are hidden from us the virginity of Mary and the greatness of the Savior of souls. He who makes the apostles glorious with the glory of preaching glorifies Joseph by the humility of Silence. Okay, so that was his role when he was still alive. He was to keep Jesus hidden like a veil. Okay, that's why when after he passed away, that's where Jesus uh, revealed himself. You know, in his in his uh, in his in his mission in his ministry as the Son of God. And I picture uh, Jesus as the Blessed Sacrament, Mary as the Tabernacle, uh, as that that we see in churches all over the world. And as you see in front of the, the, the tabernacle, there's a veil. And that uh, uh, points to uh, St. Joseph. So Bishop Busset thought so highly of St. Joseph that he considered him to be the greatest human being in Christianity after Jesus and Mary. Although St. Joseph, Joseph's holiness is hidden and unknown to many, Bishop Busset reminds us that the holiest object of Christianity is that which is hidden. And veil. Okay, so just like Jesus, uh, the most um, holiest object of Christianity, of course, is Jesus, is veiled in the Blessed Sacrament, right? And that also applies um, to Saint Joseph, okay? And uh, his holiness is hidden and unknown to many. But right now, I'm so happy that more and more people are getting to know Saint Joseph. So, Let's practice that silence of St. Joseph. There's so much noise around the world right now, uh, whether that's physical noise uh, or the noise that we experience in our, in our mind and also in our heart, okay? So let's practice that silence so that we'll be able to ponder and uh, meditate upon what the Lord wants to reveal to us. God bless. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.